my favorite dogs we ever had was a dog named Bandit. He said he just preached something loose in his brain. I don't know where he's going with this. <laughs> Bandit was an Australian healer, awesome dog. Bandit was on the chain. We kept Bandit on the chain out there on our property, Scottsville, Allen County, Kentucky. Bandit on the chain, you know a dog on a chain, he'll only come so far. And he'll stop and he'll look at you. And because uh, he's had it happen to him before. <laughs> Where he thought he's free and then all of a sudden, yank. <laughs> it just <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that another time, but I'm just here to I'm here to tell you that it just takes him one good time like that to realize I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again. So what I did to Bandit is I went over there and I unhooked Bandit. And I walked off. I said, come on, bud, let's go. And, and he, he did this. I kid you not. I'll never forget it. He, he did this. He walked. And you know, there's this trench. You know what I'm talking about? Where he's gone as far as the chain will go and he goes around it, right? Kind of wore it down. And, and I unhooked him and he came right here. And, and I said, come on, bud, let's go. He said, <laughs> like to say, hey, remember, yank. Ah! Nah. <laughs> I said, bud, come on, let's go, let's go. And he, he just sat there. So you know what I did? I just walked off. I walked on out in the field through the high grass and on out to the woods where I'd go. And then before long, I saw him coming. <laughs> it was awesome. He was hitting that high grass. <laughs> and then he came and he just kind of was right there at my feet and looked up at me wagging his tail. I like to say this. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I don't speak dog, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said. <laughs> you know how a lot of Christians live their lives? Like you're still on the chain. This text told us he let you loose. He set you free. And you can sit there and say, man, I'd really like to live a life like that, but I can't. I can't. I grew up in a home that didn't have a godly parent. Hey, we're not talking about your earthly parent. We're talking about your heavenly father tonight. So you're, you're not a child of whoever your dad is that way. You are physically. But would you realize this tonight, that you've got a heavenly father that will help you walk with him? And there's a master that wants you to walk with him. And, but you can say, no, all my life I've, been, I've just been stuck right here in this vice. Hey, he set you free tonight. He set you free. And if you're not free, you can be free. And when the son sets you free, you can be free indeed. And when you get to walk with him and talk with him every day, and every now and then all you can do is just come at his feet and say, dear God, I don't deserve deserve your blessings and your mercy, but thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for delivering me. And I want to live my life for you. Amen. Do you have the character and the conduct of a child of God? Or are you trying to endorse what he came to end? How about tonight we just say, God, I don't want to endorse anything that you came to put a stop to. And I want to start what you want to start in my life. Now you're going to need God's help. And that's why his seed remains in you. That's why the new birth had to happen. Somebody said, as soon as I get saved, I'll say what I want to, do what I want to, smoke what I want to, go where I want to. Said they got saved and they didn't want to anymore. God will change your want to. 